Hey, Chris Bayless here from the Sponsorship Collective. Today's video is actually a short training that I did inside our private Facebook group. If you enjoy the training, check the comments below for a link to the Facebook group where we have free training every week, tons of templates, and a real community of fellow sponsorship seekers. And of course, if you want us to keep making free videos and free content like this available, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get updates every time we release a new video. Check it out. All right, team, let's do this. Just making sure I'm streaming live. In this training, we're gonna talk all things sales objections. And, um, and I wanna frame this the right way for you here. Let me just take a quick look. I'm notorious for going live in the wrong group. I'm in the right group, okay. We're gonna talk objections. Everybody's favorite topic. What we're not gonna do is talk about all those sleazy cheese ball ways of strong arming people into buying from us. Instead, we're gonna talk about this concept of discovery. In sponsorship sales, we use the discovery model. The end. <laughs> we we wanna use the business to business sales strategy when we're talking to our prospects. We're talking to marketing people and uh, and often quite senior marketing people or business owners, and they know what they want. They know what they're doing. And so uh, a good friend of mine, Greg Hickman, shout out to Alt Agency. He first shared this with me, uh, this idea of thinking of sales as walking down a hallway. And the hallway has these doors and behind each door, behind each door is a bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna put a B on this for bomb because uh, no one's gonna believe me. So behind each door, now my pencil's frozen, so you're just gonna have to look at that terrible drawing, is a bomb. And that bomb is, uh, it's hiding behind this door and you open the door by asking the right questions. And once you get into the door, you have to defuse the bomb. If you do not defuse the bomb, the bomb will go off once you share the price. The minute you share price with somebody, every, every um, objection that they're hiding from you comes out. If you've ever been in a sales conversation, you've done it. Let me think about it. Oh, can you give me two days to move around money? Oh, I just need to talk to. These are bombs going off. And the same thing happens in a sponsorship sales meeting. So when you're having a conversation with potential sponsors, you want to use our discovery script to really dig in deep. You could just drop discovery script down below in the comments if you'd like a copy of that. But what bombs go off in sponsorship sales meetings? There are three. Do you have audience data? If you do not get deep into who your audience is, you're leaving a bomb intact, ready to go off. Do you have cool activations or are you using the super cheesy, out of date, gold, silver, bronze, templated tiers that nobody wants? If you're doing that, that bomb's going to go off. And it's going to sound like, just send me a proposal and then you never hear from them again. The next bomb is pricing. Do you have, these are, <laughs> these are supposed to be arrows. Do you have, this one is particularly offensive. Um, there you go. Do you actually know what to charge? Do you know why you're charging it? And do you know what the fair market value of what you're doing is? These are the bombs that are going to go off in the meeting. Audience, activation, and pricing. So when we say audience data, we don't mean 
everyone. If you think your audience is everyone, you're in trouble. It's not. Uh, and uh, and it, nor should it be. That's not a good audience. What you want to have are 20 plus, 25 plus is actually ideal data points on your audience. So when you're in conversation with your, your prospects, you can actually talk in great detail about who your audience is, including your macro audience, right? The total number of people you're connected to, engaged with, follow you on social, attend your event, um, donate to your charity, listen to your podcast, et cetera, et cetera, uh, your fans. So this is your macro audience. And then you wanna be able to dig in deep into who your micro audience or your avatars or niches are. Once you can do that, you can successfully diffuse the objection bomb before it goes off at the end of the meeting. Now, if what you're after is audience data, then just drop, actually, what am I gonna? I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget and then I forgot it. Oh, it's so blurry. So if you want the discovery script, type discovery script down below. If you want the survey questions to get at these, um, uh, to get out the audience data, survey questions down below. And if you don't know how to build cool activations, then drop activation worksheet down below. All right, let's get back to this. So in other words, you want to be able to say to a potential sponsor, my property is a conference, a podcast with 375 event professionals, 30% of whom are VIPs, uh, or sorry, our VPs and C-suiteers, 50% are mid-level professionals, 20% are consultants. Which of these audience segments appeal to you most? That's a question you're going to ask in discovery while you're having the conversation. So what the heck is activation? This is the second thing that is going to go off. Activation is the cure to gold, silver, bronze. And I'm going to save you a whole bunch of time and heartache, just changing the name to the tiers that nobody wants irrelevant. If you're sending standardized packages with tiered levels, you're not outdated. 20 years ago, you were outdated. <laughs> this is like, th there is absolutely no reason to do this. There's no argument for it. And no one is doing this who is, um, who is doing high level sponsorship. Uh, the only people that are using these tiered sponsorship packages are those who call us and say, how come sponsors keep ignoring my emails? <laughs> so this is the straight to the garbage can approach to sponsorship sales. So what is an activation? An activation is a cool experience, something fun, something engaging, something that your audience loves, that your sponsor pays to deliver and pays you for the right to do so. That's an activation. Uh, gold comes with three tickets, uh, two e-blasts, one tweet, and a sign with your logo on it at registration. Oh, oh no. Instead, hey, our audience uh, of uh, VPs and C-speeders really want to learn how to taste all 200, uh, all 200 flavor notes in a coffee. So let's do a cool coffee tasting experience at our conference, and we'll use it as a networking event for a professional recruiter who's going to meet all of their future customers. That's a $50,000 activation. We're going to put your logo on a sign at registration is like a hundred bucks, unless you're the Olympics and you have a, you know, or more like the Miami Dolphins and you have eight gazillion eyeballs for everybody else. Let's not do this. So activations are really simple. Here's how it works. You have what your sponsors want on one side, and you have what your audience wants on the other. You make a list of all the things your sponsors want. They want money. They want customers. They want emails. Then you want all the things your audience wants. They want free stuff, food, alcohol, and it's the PG way of saying this to meet people like the main drivers of, of all people. Then you find where it overlaps. 
In other words, how can we get our sponsors more customers while giving people an opportunity to drink something delicious, alcohol, coffee? They want emails. How do we get free food over to our audience in exchange for their email address? That's it. This part in the middle is an activation. Notice you are irrelevant in this equation. You are simply the thing that allows your sponsors and your audience to connect with each other through the magic of activation. If you don't have activation ideas, there's a bomb waiting to go off after you drop the price of your sponsorship opportunity. And then the last piece, pricing. Really simple. The wrong way to make it up, to base it on your expenses. I need 50K, I'll just ask for 50K. You drop numbers that have no basis in reality or market value in the, in the marketing world. Um, you're setting off a major, major bomb when you get to the price. And it'll sound like, how'd you come up with these numbers? And then you're gonna have no choice but to say, we invented them because that's what we think we need. If you do that, you are not going to be successful in sponsorship sales. So what's the right way? You have a couple of options. Uh, we have a cloud-based valuation calculator uh, for our clients inside the sponsorship accelerator. If you want that, drop accelerator in the comments and a member of my team will reach out and, um, and we can have a conversation. If you wanna use our super simple uh, calculator template to give you a, a framework, simply drop calculator valuation calculator and uh, a member of my team will reach out and hand you a, uh, a free download where you can, you can start to get a sense of what your opportunities are worth. So want the survey questions, survey questions down below, activation builder worksheet down below, discovery script, hit me with discovery script down below and I'll add this one here. If you want, the well, you'll just have to. My pencil is acting up. Uh, drop valuation calculator down below, and uh, remember, my team will hook you up with one of the cool templates. So remember, the concept here today is that first of all, the way we sell sponsorship is not by sending a package and then praying for money. Um, it's not appropriate for this for for this discipline. I don't know if it's appropriate for anybody, but it's definitely not appropriate for sponsorship sales. If you're doing that, that's why it's not working. We sell sponsorship in conversation with people. And when we have conversations, we go through the discovery script, we ask the right questions in the right order, we deal with objections as they come up and we diffuse the bombs so that after we drop the price, the objections don't blow up in our face. All right, everyone, drop your comments down below. Let us know what templates you need and uh, good luck out there.